Hello, Lucerne Valley Unified School District families. This is Peter Livingston, the superintendent of Lucerne Valley Unified School District, giving you some further updates and current COVID data for our district boundaries. This week, I wanna start with data. Currently, according to San Bruno County Health Department, there are five COVID cases that have been identified in the Lucerne Valley Unified School District boundaries. Of those, current data says that none are in school-aged children. This data is as of July 8th, 2020. The data I shared last week that have been provided was as of June 23rd, 2020, although not shared until last week from the county. The reporting is a little behind. So according to their data, three additional cases have been reported over the time span from June 23rd to July 8th. Once again, these are not cause for concern and in no way considered a spike for Lucerne Valley in cases. On Sunday, July 12th, I received written feedback from the County Health Department in regards to our reopening plan. Prior conversations had all been verbal. In the written guidance, they thanked us for putting an emphasis on the health and safety of our students, staff, and visitors. They gave us several recommendations to add to the plan and are in support of it. They gave us our current plan, which will be updated next week, can be viewed at www.lucernevalleyusd.org at the bottom of the page under news. This week, we are completing construction of new bathrooms and a hand washing station in the FFA area at our high school to support hygiene. Our other outdoor hand washing stations are set to be installed in the upcoming weeks before the start of school. Touchless hand sanitizer dispensers have been installed in all classrooms, and we have an ample supply of sanitizer that has come into our district and is in stock. We have ordered over 10,000 cloth masks and 2,000 masks that can be washed for people who will need these. These supplies will be in by the start of school. We received some supplies from the county to also support us in our PPE, which will supplement what we are getting in stock. We also ordered hotspots for families who do not have internet access and choose distance learning. These had been promised by the state and after providing feedback to them multiple times, we have still received zero to date. Our goal is to be self-sufficient for reopening and whatever we get from the state will support that. At this point, I believe no technology support is coming to us, which we were promised in a press conference by our governor back in March. We will be set with all technology needs though, thanks to our IT department and support from our business department. With this news, our plans for next year are still in place with all of the safety procedures I addressed in last week's video being put into place. Students wanting to stay at home will be able to through our virtual learning academy. We have chosen to go with Excellus as a learning platform. You can find out more information about them at www.acellus.com. The program will be overseen by Lucerne Valley teachers and supported through our virtual academy. Students will be responsible for four hours of work a day and will be supported through virtual lessons in the program and our teachers. Enrollment for this will begin in late July. And if you are a current student, you won't need to re-enroll. Classes will start August 6th. We will have a staff member assigned who will take your information and get you enrolled. Excellus is used by many charter schools and also local school districts that have virtual learning academies. For those students returning full time, you will return to school based upon information in our reopening plan. Many safety procedures are being put into place and we're still looking forward to seeing our students back on campus. These classes are scheduled to start August 6th as well. Even with Newsom's new order seemingly moving California backward in reopening, he has stated that school reopening will remain a local decision based on local data. This will allow us to move forward with support from County Health with our current plan. We'll continue to keep you updated as we come fully prepared for our reopening. Have a great day and stay safe.